What up everyone, I'm Ken Sapalin. Welcome to StackBMX.com's YouTube channel. Today, I'm doing an explain and review on the Park Tool PMP 3.2 frame pump. As always, I'm gonna tell you if this thing fits on your bike and all the other little things about this pump, how it could help you out go from a flat tire to back on the road in no time. So let's get to it. Obviously, you know what a pump is. Everybody needs a pump if they ride a bike because sooner or later, you're gonna get a flat. And that's where these bad boys come in play. I see a lot of people riding around and they don't have a pump and they go miles and miles. They break down and they can't get home. They don't have money for Uber, whatever excuse it is. They're screwed and you gotta help them out. So instead of being that guy, show them this thing and let them know that this thing is like a Swiss army knife of bicycles. Whenever you're stuck, you need a pump to air up your tire and get you rolling. Whether you have to tie up your tube in, in a knot, whether you patch it, whether you borrow a tube, you still need a pump to get somewhere. If a gas station or another way to get air is not there. So we highly suggest this if you buy a bicycle and you're going out riding by yourself. It's just a cool, easy way to fix your bike and to get back to the meetup spot or wherever you're going. We suggest usually a pump, a frame bag, an extra tube, a patch kit, uh, and a tool kit as well to do different things and possibly tire levers. Those are the pretty basic tools that you need to get from point A to point B and just in case you break down. The, the next step would be a chain breaker and then so on and so on. But after that, usually your ride's pretty much up. But uh, definitely the pump is very, very important to have. So these pumps, what's cool is that they come with frame, uh, frame bolts. Uh, so you can mount this underneath your water bottle cage. They come with a little larger bolt so that you can run a water bottle cage and any other accessories that you may have to bolt on to your water bottle cage. So this will go underneath it, water bottle cage will mount. Then this pump will mount on here. They got a little rubber band here and simply the pump comes off like so. Uh, what's cool about this pump is that it'll give you up to 100 pounds of air. If you're riding road bikes, you might wanna step it up to the next level to get a little bit more than 100 pounds, but for most bikes, this, the 100 pounds uh, in this PMP 3.2 pump will significantly pump it up adequately so that you can ride anywhere you want. So how this pump works is basically, you'll pull it down, you can fold it out and you use this motion to push air into it. Keep in mind that these pumps aren't designed to pump up your bike on an everyday use. These are to, designed to get you from a bad situation to a good situation. So they do take quite a bit of time to pump them up. Uh, if you don't like doing that, maybe look into to purchasing a CO2 tire inflator. Uh, we carry a lot of them on our website. You can check them out right there. Um, but that's another direction. Uh, but yeah, you just pump this up right here. This thing is cool because you'll actually put it on here and then you'll lift it up and that will secure it. Another thing is, is that it's compatible with Schrader valve or a press a valve. So I'm gonna show you right here, where I start. I believe it's in uh, press a valve right now. So you can have it in press a valve like that, so. It's brand new, so it looks a little weird, but. Yeah, it wasn't, that one was impressive. Well, now we're gonna flip it around. So you're gonna go, this is the front of it. This is a cup. So if it's, this is a cup, you're pointing in here. This little needle thing, you're gonna push in the bottom of it. And then you're gonna put this right inside the pump. And when you do so, and I have tied it all down, you can see that it's set up for the Schrader valve. And then if you need it for the Pressa valve, you're simply the front of it. Again, you're gonna flip it over so the cup's upside down. Then you're gonna take the bigger piece and stick it 
in there, sticking the little piece on the outside, put it all together. And now you have it set up for the press valve. So yeah, that's it for the Park Tools PMP 3.2 frame pump. If you need a new frame pump, pick one of these up. These things are super light because they're anodized and they're plastic composite, super lightweight, and uh, get you back home if you ever get a flat. Have a great day.